everyone this is daisy margaret in today's video we are about to discuss class 6 term 3 unit 3 chemistry in daily life this is part 1 topics to be discussed are introduction chemistry in daily life introduction we have studied earlier about the physical changes and chemical changes hope you remember that physical changes and chemical changes so here we have some pictures can you identify from the following list which are physical changes and which are chemical changes so the burning of wood and the water is boiling and evaporating the chocolate is melting and the popcorn these are the pictures given you should identify from the following which are the physical changes and which are the chemical changes first to be clear let us discuss about physical and chemical changes take an apple and cut it into two halves cut one half into pieces and share it with your friends is there any change in the composition of the apple while cutting no only the shape and size have changed this can be called a physical change so an apple we are cutting it into two halves one half you are cutting into pieces and you are sharing it with your friends and you can see any change in the composition of the apple while cutting no only the shape and size would have changed so that is called a physical change so leave the other half on the table for some time you can see brown patches formed on the cut surface because of the reaction between some substances in the apple and the air around it this is a chemical change so the brown patches they are formed due to some reaction between some substances in the apple and the air around it so that change is called as a chemical change so what are physical changes physical changes are the temporary changes in which there is a change in the physical appearance of the substance but not in its chemical composition here no new substance is formed what about the examples examples for physical changes melting of ice the solution of salt or sugar stretching of rubber band chemical changes chemical changes are the permanent changes in which there is change in the chemical composition and new substance is formed examples burning of wood popping of popcorn blackening of silver ornaments rusting of iron these are the examples of chemical changes here i have given some sentences with a picture you can think and identify which is a physical change and which is a chemical change breaking of stick into two pieces burning of a paper tearing paper into small pieces dissolving of sugar in water burning of petrol or lpg gas water boiling into water vapor coconut oil becoming solid during winter can you see the important difference between the chemical change and physical change when you cut a paper into two both are still paper pieces but once you burn it there is no longer the paper only some ash and the smoke is mixed with the air chemical change results in the change of substance in physical change only the shape size or volume changes the state of the matter may also change from liquid to gas or from liquid to solid however the substance remains chemically as it is from the following example you can understand what is a chemical change so when you cut a paper into small pieces the shape and size will alone change 
both are papers only but when you burn a paper you can see the paper burning into ashes so no longer the paper remains so you can see the physical change it has the change only in the shape size and volume so in physical change only the shape size or volume changes even the state of matter it can also change from liquid to gas and gas to liquid from solid to liquid and liquid to solid however the substance remains chemically as it is in chemical change it results in the change of the substance it the you can see the change results in the change of substance let us do the following experiment add a pinch of turmeric powder to water water turns yellow take a small quantity of soap water in a beaker and add a pinch of turmeric powder to it now what happens is there any change in the color of the solution is it also turning to yellow or to some other color so you are taking water in a glass and you are adding a pinch of turmeric powder to the water so now what happens the water turns yellow in color now you are taking a small quantity of soap water in a beaker and you are adding a pinch of turmeric powder to the soap water so you can observe what is happening and you can see whether there is any change in the color of the solution and also you can see whether it is turning to yellow or to some other color try adding turmeric powder to various household liquids and observe the result try it on say tamarind extract try it on with cleaning liquids in the house does it change the color so you can also add the turmeric powder to the various household liquids so you can try it on the tamarind extract and you can also try it with the cleaning liquids in the house and you can see whether the color is changing chemists identify turmeric powder as a natural indicator the change in color indicates that the material is either acid or base medium find answer for the following questions with the help of your teacher this will help you to understand how chemistry plays vital role in our life so the turmeric powder it is identified as a natural indicator so the change in color indicates that the material is either acidic or basic okay whether it is a acid or base medium so now you can try to answer the following questions so from that it will help you to understand how chemistry plays vital role that is important role in our life how does milk change into curd how can you remove stain on the copper vessels idli is a little bit hard while we cook by using newly grinded idli dough but it is soft with old dough why how does rusting of iron happen why does white sugar change into black when heating
can understand the chemical changes that happen around us by knowing the answers for the above questions. We use chemical changes in various forms in our daily life. Chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of particles around us. The beauty of chemistry is that it explains the properties of the basic components of particles such as atoms and molecules and the effects of their combination. We use uh, many various forms of chemical changes in our daily life. So chemistry, it is a branch of science which deals with the study of particles around us. So the beauty of chemistry is that it explains about the properties of basic components of the particles. So what are those particles? Those particles such as atoms and molecules and also it explains about the effects of their combination. We can consider all the particles around us as chemicals. The water H2O we drink is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen. The salt NaCl we use in our kitchen is a combination of the chemicals sodium and chlorine. Even our body is made up of a lot of chemical particles. So we can consider all the particles around us as chemicals. So the water we drink is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen. The salt which we use in our kitchen, it is the combination of chemicals, sodium and chlorine. Even our body is made up of a lot of chemical particles. We could prepare soft idli as a result of a chemical change named fermentation takes place in the idli batter. During fermentation, the idli batter undergoes a chemical change by bacteria. While cooking, the food products undergo so many chemical changes. As a result, there are favorable changes in color, flavor and taste of the food. So how do we get a soft idli? So, so how we can able to prepare soft idli? It is due to the result of a chemical change named as fermentation. So this fermentation, it takes place in the idli batter. So during this fermentation, what happens? The idli batter, it undergoes a chemical change by bacteria. So even while cooking, the food products undergo so many chemical changes. So due to those those chemical changes only we are getting the favorable changes in color flavor and taste in the food so as a result there are favorable changes in color flavor and taste in the food so these are the some of the chemical changes that happens in cooking so we can also use chemical changes to produce certain materials for example some of the objects such as soaps fertilizers Plastics and cement which we use in our daily life can be prepared by making chemical changes in some naturally occurring objects. So we can use chemical changes to produce a certain material such as soaps, fertilizers, plastics and cement. So these are the things which we use in our daily life. So that can be prepared by making chemical changes in some naturally occurring objects. Do you know, when we cut onion, we get tears in the eyes with irritation because of the presence of a chemical, propanthyl S oxide. This is easily volatile. When we cut onion, some of the cells are damaged and this chemical comes out. It becomes vapor and reach our eyes result in irritation and tears in eyes. When we crush the onion, more cells will be damaged and more chemicals come out. Activity Discuss with your group and list out few chemicals which we use in our home and school. So we are using the following chemicals in our home and school. Detergents, air fresheners, disinfectant, glass cleaning chemicals, detergents, Shampoo, lubricants, metal polishers, restroom cleaning chemicals, naphthalene, 
bathing soap heat in the upcoming videos we can study about the manufacturing processes and usages of certain materials we use in our daily life such as soaps fertilizers cement gypsum epsom plaster of paris phenol and adhesives summary of the video so this is part 1 we discussed only about introduction and chemistry in daily life we discussed a lot of examples and we discussed about the differences between chemical change and physical change and we discussed about various activities and about the various chemical changes that happens in our daily life this is to be continued if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching